Hi, my name is Marco Peña. I'm a research specialist. work for the University of Arizona Yuma Agricultural Center in Yuma, Arizona. We want to show in this video an evaluation that was done of systemic insecticides for the control of beet armyworm and cabbage. Systemic insecticides are products that are taken out by the roots, bark, or leaves and absorbed into the tissue of a plant and either repel or kill the insects that feed upon it. When plants are treated, the product can be effective sometimes for weeks or months. Insects ingest the insecticide while feeding on the plants and die if they get a lethal dosage. This insecticide typically lasts longer than contact insecticides. Well, as you can see, each row here has a different treatment assigned or a different rate of the same product. The drip irrigation tape is located where the plant row is and it's, it delivers the content of the bottle to each row. We pressurize with CO2, similar to a backpack application. We use 15 psi in the bottles. The system has a manifold which is connected to the CO2 tank and to the bottles. But the objective was to do a uniform application as you can see right there looking at the level of the liquid right there on each bottle it, uh, the product was coming out simultaneously to each row. The technicians were checking that the product was coming out properly and delivered to the root area. They also checked that the manifold had the correct pressure all the time, in other words a constant application. Well the application was done successfully we continued the irrigation for about three to four hours to flush all the product to the root area and the next step was as instructed by Dr. Palombo to take leaf samples seven and fourteen days after the application place them in petri dishes or plastic chambers then infest with third and star beet army worms for the bioassays as you can see right now so here we are checking that uh, those uh, samples from the cabbage that we put a drip application of in systemic insecticides. As you can see right there, those are plastic bags. Uh, Leo, can you show me those plastic bags? Just the way you guys did like a chamber. So show me just one, I don't care which one. That's um, just just like a, like a half a gallon plastic yeah. Ziploc bag and they put uh, one of those salsa containers in there. To, avo to avoid the, the bag from collapsing and killing the larva that they added in there. It's a bioassay in which they put the leaf. In this case, they put the fourth position leaf in, uh, inside the bag and they added four uh, beet army worm larvae for evaluation on the feeding and on the survival. And right there, what treatment is that, Leo? Uh, this is uh, one of the low rate. One of the low rate. Treatment. So there's a lot of feeding on it. Yeah, they're they're feeding really good on the leaves. Um, can you tell the differences? Yeah. That this has been, uh, by the way, this is 24 hours after the uh, the, uh, the initiation of the bioassay. Same thing. Four plants were collected from each individual plot or treatment unit, and then replicated four times. And again, this is the third position of the leaf to to observe. The, uh, intake uh, of the uh, systemic insecticide. After collecting the data on survival and all observations were done, the data is then analyzed by the specialist. They determine the efficacy of the products or rates used and then they give uh, the pest control advisors and growers the recommendations for the use of the evaluated products. And uh, hopefully this research will, will help all of us to make the best decisions out in the field. Well, thanks for watching this video. We're going to continue bringing you more of this research vegetable IPM videos. If you have any questions or comments, just give us a call.